what's going on guys welcome back welcome back so real quick before i head off to work a couple things came in the mail today i want to show them to you now when you go off and buy diff grease you buy them in these little tiny square puck cylinder things or you buy them in a little like glue tube like this size that's ridiculous man well i found this waterproof grease by maxim right 16 ounces all right 16 ounces it was like 10 bucks for this anyway you go down in the comments and you read like the comments or the reviews of it and you can search a comment so i typed in rc apparently a lot of people have bought this and have used it for rc cars and they're like you know why spend ten dollars on those little tubs when you can only like the like those little pucks they're like the size of a quarter you know i use them on one diff and you know that's why every time i buy them i have to buy like two or three of them not anymore i got this big old sucker right so anyway what i did is I went ahead and preloaded one of them into one of these big basting syringes. So that way, if I need a little bit of grease, I can just shove it down inside the hole and squirt the grease out. That way I don't have to get it all over my tools or get it over my hands and stuff. And then when I'm ready to refill, I just shove it in there and suck it back up. Right? Good idea. I know. I agree. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Those are spur gears. It's for the Creighton. Uh, oh, I dropped it. What? We need it. Oh, no. All the little things came out. Yeah. I wanted some new uh, pinion gears. The the standard, what, 13 and 15 tooth gear that comes with the Armas. Um, you know, I wanted a little variety. So I got a, a 13 through 18, which is nice get a little top in or get a little more acceleration whichever you prefer and i just dropped that stuff all over the ground that's awesome so these are ten dollars a piece or give or take you know this part right here is 20 bucks and then if you need like that that gear right there that's an extra an extra twenty dollars um you know i why why buy it individually when for 40 bucks you can buy one sealed up greased up ready to go i mean all you got to do is just drop it in and it's ready to go uh, i found that to be way cheaper so that's what i did i bought one ready to go the stock motor that comes in the grasshopper is extremely small right look at that thing tiny 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 okay if you want to run a regular grasshopper or i'm sorry if you want to run a regular motor in it you need this this is the um adapter kit right this is what you need so you can use this to put a full-size motor in it yeah this little adapter kit but that was a question i got asked and i thought i would show you and answer your question so yeah, if you want to get a grasshopper, you got to get this little adapter kit. That's what you need so you can run a regular motor in it. All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh, this is the eBay stuff. Once again, I needed a uh, sway bar, right? I needed the that little piece right there, okay? It was like 12 bucks for it. This guy had this whole bag for $20 on eBay. I mean, it comes with the hinge pins it comes with just all kinds of little necessities that you need you know it's just it's such a better deal that way so i'm glad that, that came today big old parts bag we all need big old parts bags and then let's see what else uh oh this this is a bearing puller the bearing goes down inside there and then you screw that little thing down and it pulls the bearing out. That's a miracle, especially when you have a pain in the butt and it just, it won't go for you. Shoot. Of course, see when I 
ordered this, I did the research. It said that those are 40 millimeter fans. No, I'm sorry. 30 millimeter fans. Those are 30 millimeter fans. So I went and bought 30 millimeter RGB fans for it. Well, look, there's the fan. These are the fans that I bought. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to fit. Yay, more wasted money. Yay. What a, how awesome is that? More wasted money. I'm, I'm so happy. All right, well, now I need to do research and find out exactly how big these are in order RGB ones. But let's see if the dang thing will even fit this motor. It claims it's eight scale. Ooh, it does fit. Yeah. Manufacturer that makes those crappy shocks. Oh, which, by the way, you remember those, uh, this, this battery that I bought? Yeah, it doesn't fit. Waste of money. Anyway, I bought these ZD racing shocks for the Creighton. Whoops. These, right? I already bent two of them. I got a brand new pack right here that I haven't even opened yet because I figured I'll put these on when I'm gonna go to like a skate park or something and I know that I'm gonna tear my shocks up I know I'm gonna bend one probably um, I'll put those on I had to put the stock Creighton shocks back on which are actually really really good the shock crate the stock shocks are way bigger in diameter they're actually taller uh, so yeah screw zd racing shocks they're just they're they're crap dude i can't believe i bent them i wasn't even jumping in or doing nothing crazy and i just bent it wow also if you guys are looking for shock oil you need to get this traxxas um carousel shock oil thing it's 60 bucks with all different types of oils it's like a 40 a 60 a 70 an 80 um, but I replaced it and put Creighton stickers all over it because that's what I do. So y'all look, look at the screws. They started to come out. See that? This is a diff that I pulled. It's all chewed up, but look at that. The screws were starting to come out of it. They were vibrating loose. See that? So yeah, that's garbage. Lovely. Oh yeah, let me show you guys something. I don't know, have I ever showed you all this? This is my camera. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this camera. I need to film with it. It's a brand new camera, I bought it, and I haven't even shot more than 10 hours of video on it. I guess I like the GoPro, it just, it works better. Except for the GoPro, it pops, the microphone pops. That's because it's been beat up back and forth. Okay, so next plan, guys, here is the new plan. The new plan is we are ordering electronics. We're going to get a 12 turn brush motor um, ESC combo. It comes with the motor and the ESC. It's about 35 bucks for it, which I'm really surprised. We're going to buy two 7.4 volt, um, I found 6,000 milliamp batteries. That way we get plenty of runtime. Uh, the next thing that I need to do is find a pinion gear. You have to get a special pinion gear. I think only an 18 tooth will fit this. You have to remember, there's not much adjustment, so you're very limited on what pinion gears you can put in the grasshopper. That's one of the hiccups or early design flaws of it. Uh, second thing is, um, since the new parts just came for the Creighton, we're going to go ahead and get that fixed, get that done, and then we'll do a, um, we'll do a speed run with that one, see how fast we can get it up to. So you guys don't want to miss none of it. If you're new, my name is Don, I run Don's Tech, and I appreciate you. You. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. I got to go to work. Um... Yeah, another day, another dollar. Check this thing out. This is it's what I use to like charge my cameras with and stuff when it's sitting here chilling. All right, I gotta go. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all be cool.